Gas stations, places you gotta pay attention and know the threats you might face. Hi everyone, welcome to today's lesson here at Active Self Protection. I'm your host, John Correa. Today's video, I bet you you're gonna think comes from Houston, Texas, but it actually comes from Indianapolis, Indiana. Palm pepper spray has recently reformulated for even more effect when you bless the deserving with the hot sauce. Palm is what I use between a harsh word and a gun and encourage everyone to do likewise. This woman is pumping gas right about midnight here. You can see it's fairly deserted and there's nobody else around. And these two guys dressed all in dark clothes are gonna just beeline right to her. They're not making any pretense about going away from her. They are headed right towards her. She's not paying any attention to them. Now she tries to get in her car. A guy is gonna grab her from behind by her hair and pull her out. And now she's gonna stand there and negotiate with them for a minute or two. Now, now listen, you could see that old Honda Accord she's driving there ain't exactly what you'd call, you know, it's not a Bugatti Veyron or whatever. She's gonna get out of the car and get away a little bit and then standing there, eventually it's gonna cut and in that cut, they actually shot her, I think, in the arm. The, the news story says they shot her and you could see her kinda, I think, holding that arm, right arm out she was shot and will recover from it. They're still looking for her car and for the perps. Got a question for you out of today's video. Have you started changing the way that you do business at the gas pump based on what you see here on the main channel? I certainly have, I'm wondering about you. Please, please, please understand that the gas pump is a transitional space and you must pay attention in those spaces and see what's going on in your world so that you don't get ambushed like this. I just did a short over on Active Self Protection Extra uh, over there and on our Instagram about playing four corners for self-defense. Please watch that, it's brief, it'll help you to kind of see what's going on in your world because this guy telegraphs this coming from a million miles away but she's not paying any attention so she doesn't have any options. And listen, hear me, that, that if you're actually paying attention in these places, recognizing that it's a transitional space course, not getting gas at midnight if you can help it, that will help you to stay safe and you can see this guy coming, put the car between you and him and maybe stand a chance of protecting yourself against this because obviously this is a big L. Instead she tries to kinda, I don't see you, you don't see me and I know women do this a lot because they don't want to invite interaction from men in particular in like, like flirting and sexual advances and those kinds of things and that works well to not invite contact which might you know keep social violence at bay but in these kinds of situations where it's not that kind of flirting thing but instead it's criminal behavior you got to change your tactics ladies and let them know that you see them and that you have the means to protect yourself otherwise what happens is what happens here is that he gets a hold of her she has no means to protect herself yes of course do i think this woman should have had a firearm on her yes should she know how to use it yes should she be paying attention yes and if she had all those in place she actually probably had a pretty good fighting chance against this dummy but instead doesn't have any of that so ends up with her car stolen now of course next thing get out of the danger zone as soon as you possibly can because at some point he shot her here through the arm and now what is she going to do? Now ladies, I, I get it, generally speaking, you know, you would carry something like a first aid kit in your purse and I applaud that, but this is one of those instances where I think having it on your person is very helpful because if you can have it on your person, now even though they've stolen her purse, she can administer first aid to herself. And yes, you absolutely need to have your first aid kit on your person that can stop major traumatic bleeding for this exact thing and you need to know how to use it of course, if you go buy the ASP medical kits from Mountain Man Medical, we donate the proceeds from those to charity and therefore you get to help good people and good causes and have the right equipment on you that is high quality, that is vetted, that is at a good price. So go check them out. I would recommend that kit, but even if you want to put one together yourself or wear a different kit, I'm just grateful that you're carrying medical. Make sure you do. Make sure you know how to do it. Pay attention in your world. Play four corners and cover your ass. 